Whenever I was cast in other roles at other places, I would always be cast as the comedic relief or the funny character or the light-hearted character. So when Elaine cast me as a lead role, it really helped with my self-confidence and it made me feel like I was being taken seriously. I think when you're going through a rough time, like the, the camaraderie and uh, the commitment that you make to your fellow actors and performers, uh, that kind of gets you through things because you know you have to be there every week and the passion and uh, energy that everyone else puts into it is, is contagious so it, it lifts you up and keeps you going. Jack and Millie is one that I really found compelling and awfully confronting and from my personal point of view it made me confront and challenge my own battle with my Jack. It was just so empowering I just yeah, I was absolutely amazed and will always be a show that I would probably go back and see many, many, many times again. I think every bad decision I've ever made has somehow been connected to fear or insecurity. But I've learnt through working collaboratively in creative performing arts that there is no such thing as failure. It's just about learning and developing and doing it better. Even if the idea is not your own and it's somebody else's. That's okay, it's about the work and the process. You have to let go of fear. In fact, there's no place for fear in performing arts. It's not just that we want to put on plays and, and shows that are, are just there for entertainment. We want to have a conversation. We want people to talk about things that are important to them and important in life. And, and Jack and Millie does that. And it does that in a way that's fun and engaging as well as confronting, and that to me says art. Over the period of years that uh, Elaine ran the, ran the after school drama class, I witnessed a remarkable and spectacular growth in certain individuals. I witnessed, uh, um, again, a somewhat a paradigm shift. They, there was that positivity towards the student performers. Their parents were um, uh, remarkably proud of how their um, sons or daughters were able to achieve such a, a wonderful outcome. Last December, I was going through quite a difficult time, but as soon as I stepped into rehearsal, it all went away. The thing that I like most about uh, performing arts is um, the safety and comfort you, you feel within yourself to be able to try new things and you're not really judged for giving that kind of performance. It lets you explore things that are, are private and personal without it feeling too confronting because you have that safety, you have that feeling of uh, being allowed to talk about these confronting things. Because it's a collaborative thing, it means that it isn't judged to be that one person. It allows you to discuss and explore these themes that you can't in other settings. Here's a question. If storytelling is a vital part of human existence, how can performing arts not be?